this video you will learn how to align a CT scan with a surface scan and how to define the position of the mandibular nerve. In the scan alignment step, the software will initially suggest an alignment between the CT scan and the surface scan. If you also included a pre-prep scan in the order, you can choose to align to this instead by selecting it from the drop-down menu. Please note that the pre-prep scan has to come from the same case or order workflow to align properly. You can check the alignment using the difference map that is enabled by default. You can always adjust the initial alignment by using the three-point alignment instead. Or you can adjust the alignment manually. Once you are satisfied with the alignment, click Next to move to the confirmation step. Here you simply confirm the alignment by checking the Confirm Alignment box. Click Next to proceed to the Nerve Definition step. For mandibular surgery, we have to define the position of the nerve at the Nerve Definition step. Hold the control button down and use the scroll wheel of the mouse to move through the scans in axial, orthogonal, tangential and panoramic views to trace the nerve. In the panoramic view, you should move the blue horizontal line down to where the exit points of the nerve canal are. You then switch to the orthogonal view where you hold down the control button and scroll through the scan to find the exit points. A red circle will appear and by clicking once you mark the exit point of the nerve. Then you move down the nerve canal and by clicking again you can continue defining the nerve. In the tangential view you hold down the control button and scroll until the red circle appears, which is the nerve you have just defined. Keep scrolling until more of the nerve appears and you can keep clicking to define more of the nerve. The nerve canal is black in the CT scan since there is no bone here. You can also adjust the nerve by moving the mouse over the nerve. It will then change from red to blue. With the cursor you can move the nerve. To remove the nerve and start over, click on the bin icon. You can always check the nerve canal in the 3D view by moving the CT visibility slider to make the bone more or less visible. Once you have defined the nerve canal, you can move on to the implant planning step by clicking Next. You have now learned how to align a CT scan with a surface scan and how to define the position of the mandibular nerve in 3Shapes Implant Studio. In order to explore the full implant planning and surgical guide design workflow, please watch the next video in this series. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.